What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and welcome to the fifth episode of Bug and Bradley where you get a bug with your questions and I get the privilege of answering them. Mega Sparkster asks, have you played any classic Mega Man games? If so, what's your favorite or least favorite installment? Mega Man is one of the most iconic video game characters out there and he has dozens of games, but as far as I can recall, I've only played two Mega Man games. I did try to play Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo growing up, but the key word there is try, because I stunk like moldy cheese at that game. It was a little hard for little Bradley. I did manage to beat it once I bought it on the Wii U Virtual Console, but besides Mega Man X, I've only played Mega Man 2, which is another game I on the Wii U Virtual Console. But if I had to choose between Mega Man X and Mega Man 2, I'd choose Mega Man X. It's good stuff. Elijah Neves asks, what video game character do you think has the most personality? Now I'm just going to narrow this question down to only Nintendo characters, instead of the broad and spacious world of video games. But in recent years, one of the characters that I think has the most personality is Pit from Kid Icarus Uprising, and kind of like the whole cast of characters in that game. Nintendo and Sakurai did a good job with the dialogue and banter between the characters. Minecraft Rules asks, which is your favorite Mario Kart game? Even though it is the newest installment, I'd have to go with Mario Kart 8. I just think they did a really good job with the track designs. Clyde Star asks, do your parents ever show up at home because it seems like they never do. I stated before that I don't like filming that's on me versus my family's home because I get embarrassed while filming and also it's quiet. But when I'm doing stuff like this, like news videos, Bug and Bradley episodes, or even just the voice work for my video reviews and stuff, I will do that when my family is home. Derpy the Magnificent asks, how many girls do you get every day? I don't know, I lose count. Pooping281 asks, if you could be any Nintendo character, who would you be? Uh, uh. Uh, uh, someone who doesn't die? Uh, I don't know. Wait, got it. Dodo from Skyward Sword. Zrath asks, have you played Tomodachi Life? If you have, what do you think about it? No, I have not played Tomodachi Life and I don't have any plans to pick the game up, but I do think it is a wacky and interesting game, but it's just not the type of game that I would play. I heard that it gets old after a period of time because things start to repeat, and also after thinking about it, it kind of reminds me of Nintendogs in a way, which is a game I don't really like. NintendoFan997 asks, who is your favorite Zelda sidekick? If you're talking about the companion characters like Five, Minna, Tattle, and Navi, maybe I'll go with the Phantom Hourglass guy, the guy who travels on the boat with you. I don't remember his name. Super Cool Rocks asks, Granny Smith or Red Delicious? Well, if I had to choose just between those two apples, I'd have to go with Granny Smith, because Red Delicious is bleh. Karate Kid Austin asks, what's your favorite Smash game? Well, I played a ton of the original Smash Bros growing up, but as for Melee, I didn't own it and I barely played it at all but I do own Brawl and I played that one. But out of pure nostalgia, I'd have to go with the original Super Smash Bros, even though I don't even own the game. Van Nintendo asks, have you played Fire Emblem Awakening and if so, how much do you like it? Well, Awakening is a brilliant 3DS game, but my enjoyment with the game was hampered because I found it a spoiler before I even started, so it just lessened the impact for me. And also, I wish I played my first run through with Permadeath on, because I like it so much better. Alliance Gaming asks, your favorite SNES RPG? Well, fun fact, I don't think I've ever played an RPG on the Super Nintendo. I don't even recall owning an RPG on the Super Nintendo, so that doesn't really help. But Chrono Trigger, Super Mario RPG, never played them. Boo Tortle asks, waffles or pancakes? I have to go with waffles. Pikachu asks, what is your favorite character announced from Mario Kart 8 DLC? I gotta go with my homeboy Link. Mauricio Rodriguez asks, I have a couple of questions. Do you prefer Pepsi or Coke? And what is your favorite Wii U game so far that you have played? I am definitely a Coke guy, and more specifically, Coke Zero. And as for my favorite Wii U game, Mario Kart 8 is up there. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this, but I'm gonna say Rain. And he asks, Brad, what new 3DS are you getting? The regular or the XL? I think I'll get the new 3DS XL because I like the XL that I have right now. But the new original 3DS does have a bigger screen and also the interchangeable faceplates, but I think I'll just get the new XL. Saxter123 asks, what's your worst fear? And could you say it like Ace Ventura would? I'm not exactly sure what my worst fear is. But I am afraid of sharks and heights. How did I do? Joel Jose asks, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I think it would be pretty cool to have time traveling abilities and be able to go into the past and do things and not mess up the space time continuum. Just be cool to see how things were back then. Mr. Shyboy1 asks, are you sponsored by any company? Uh, kind of. I mean, I am partnered with Curse or Union for Gamers on YouTube so I can monetize my videos, but beyond that, no. The Final DX asks, if you have 63 bananas and 75 ice cream bars, how many women does it take to ruin your social life? Just one DX. Just one. <laughs> but that will bring us to the end of the fifth episode of Logan Bradley. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. And you can stay tuned for more videos in the future. But I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!